Hey you guys, this is the Kaizen Man welcoming you to the Kaizen Project. And today's video is about simple and basic batting drills. I'm a left-handed batsman, so I grip the bat with my left-handed body. If you are a right-handed batsman, you grip the bat with your right-handed body. Now, we're going to pretend that the ball is coming at this line. So when you set up your stance, you stand with your feet about hip width distance apart. You're facing perpendicular to the direction of the ball. So my hips and chest are facing this way. I got my grip stance and then I turn my head in the direction that the ball is coming. So similar to baseball, baseball the back lift is a lot higher, cricket the back lift is about here, some people have it up here, it really is a personal preference. The reason why that back lift is important is that when you bring the bat down from a height it creates momentum so that when you hit the ball there's some momentum and adds force to take the ball in the direction that you want to hit it. Okay, so Front foot shots, you take a step towards the ball, bring the back lift through, and then you make contact with the ball. You'll notice my front arm is bent, and I keep that arm bent pretty much all the way through. And that front elbow is nice and high. The bottom hand is there for support, it's there to add strength, and the front arm, the top hand, is there to guide the shot. and I'm trying to bring the bat down as straight as possible. And the reason why I'm trying to bring the bat down as straight as possible is what I try to do is get behind the line of the ball. So the ball is coming this way, I try to get right behind the ball and present the full face of the bat, which means I have this much surface area with which I can make contact with the bat. What I see people when they're first starting out, what they do is they try to bat like this, they have the bat kind of forth from the body, and then they hit the ball like this. So they're away from the line of the ball, so the ball is coming this way, and they try to hit the ball like this. And the reason why this doesn't quite work as well is one, you don't have that, the swing of the bat that comes in your favor to bring force into the ball. The other thing is where you're making contact with the ball, you only really have about this much space, so you have to be very good to, in order to make contact with just this much space here. But if you bring, the bat down straight and you're right behind the line of the ball, then there's a much higher chance that you'll make contact with the ball. And I won't get into the rules of the game because frankly the rules are complicated and I usually find that if I want to learn a game, I just learn better by playing. So I'm going to go through some very basic batting drills, batting technique stuff that you can learn so that if you see someone playing in the ground or if you have a bad ball, you can get a game going with some friends uh, and you can get better, okay? So front foot shot, take the step towards the ball. Again, when I take that step towards the ball, my body's momentum carries me forward and then that backswing comes in and hits the ball with a good amount of force. So I'm not actually hitting the ball all that hard here. I'm just letting the timing of the swing bring momentum into the shot. Okay, so um, here what I'm doing is I'm playing the shots that will typically stay along the ground. These aren't gonna go up in the air, these are safe shots. But if you want to hit the ball out of the ground and you want that elevation, that distance, well, what you have to do basically is you have to hit the ball when the bat is on the upward movement of the swing. So right now what I'm doing is I'm hitting it when it's kind of on this part where it's still going down and forward so the ball then carries in that direction. But if I want to hit it out of the ground, I have to hit it when the bat is already in the upswing part of its trajectory. Okay? And so I'm a little bit further away from the ball and I hit it like this. I also exaggerate my swing a little bit here to create more force going through my body and add a bigger twist in my torso just like in golf so that when I twist to the front I can bring my hip into play as well and hit the ball and up to a fat so I can hit the ball further And I'm also trying to meet the ball as close to underneath my face as possible for the 
defensive shots and for the front foot shots, you'll notice my head is pretty much right on top of the ball when I make contact with it. So it's a great way to focus, it's a great way to you know, have a meditative practice because I'm practicing watching the ball the entire time. I'm practicing watching it as it comes onto my back, the whole trajectory. And I like to do this for several reasons. One is I just love the game of cricket. I love playing it. And also, it's a great way for me to get outdoors, especially now as it's getting a little bit cooler. You can see the leaves on the ground. It helps me to spend some time outside, get my heart rate up, and stay off of screens. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button, comment on the video, hit the bell icon if you like this type of content. We're making more videos as well. Uh, today we're just keeping it very simple with batting drills, but there's lots of things you can do. You can hit some fun shots. You can practice all kinds of cool things. If you like cricket, Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, it's the Kaizen Man signing out.